morning. I like your shirt. Thank you. Yeah. How are you guys doing so far? Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Been busy so far? Or? Yeah. Well, this is the first thing, so that was one table. This is number two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? So far, so good, but that's not saying much. Right. It's <laughs> early. So are you already getting to the point where you're like just kind of ask, answering the same questions that you're not yet? Not yet. That's another ten minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> this same. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well. So, so please explain your show to us. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. If you haven't seen it, you shouldn't be at this table. <laughs> um, new season. Uh, just got announced. Uh, you guys probably obviously excited. Um, do you expect anything new or anything old coming back, old fan favorites or anything? Any sneak peeks? Season 7, which we've only aired the first episode of so far, because we aired like five episodes in a row just recently, and we kind of dealt with like Mordecai's relationship issues really quickly, and then now uh, Season 7 is going to be a new territory, and also going back to old kind of classic type episodes with Mordecai and Ricky and mixing up the character <laughs> couple of things. and some really crazy stuff's going to start to happen which people will see kind of early in the season. We're going to do more Halloween episodes too or stuff like that. Yeah, yeah more here to special or something. Yeah, there's usually something like being cooked up. Yeah, then we haven't even, we just got picked up for season eight. So we yeah. haven't even like started. Like, oh, yeah. No, no, yeah. We just started. We have a whole season to air. <laughs> now, you guys, um, your show has a lot of, I would say, old themes uh, for older audiences, uh, you know, like relationship issues, um, especially in the earlier episode, there was a lot of, at least I thought, like, dialogue that skirted the line of, of Cartoon Network acceptability. Um, do you notice that you, you have a much older intended audience, or they're your fans? I mean, online, well, I'll hear from people that, like, kids will say, I walked in on my parents watching regular shows. <laughs> <laughs> That's always awesome to hear, because we're making it for ourselves, and the fact that it kind of walks the line between both demographics and, like, everybody can enjoy it is nice, because... You know, it would be hard if we couldn't do any of that stuff. Yeah. Like, as far as, you know, I was just talking over there about some of the technology that we put in the show, where it's like, no kid knows what a VHS tape is anymore, or like, a real telephone, or there's tons of stuff that's like, we probably shouldn't be putting it in, but it's really fun. How do you know what, what that line is, and has Cartoon Network ever come to you and say, okay, you crossed this line, and can we work for anything that either failed or did make the air, but you had to fight for it? There's definitely things where, you know, if it goes too far, we'll get pulled back, but we'll always find a way to make it where it's like something for everybody, you know, and that it's appropriate for everybody, but that... Yeah, I don't think we have ever like purposely kind of pushed the line to something like more adult or anything. It's just the natural stories we want to tell, and sometimes it's just like a joke. Oh, you know, we should think of something more different to say this. But we're not like ever trying to like go for like crazy like grown up things or like. Yeah. Yeah. So speaking of relationships, we kind of <coughs> finally saw Rigby and Eileen. Is that something that's going to continue, or did we kind of, it's a little hint. No, it'll continue. That's definitely something for season seven to keep an eye out for. Yeah. Say more yeah. about. It's funny because the way that we revealed that was so kind of just, we just said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never like, so the bomb show. Yeah. 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 Uh, but it totally makes sense. I feel like a lot of people saw that there a little bit. A lot of fans were like, when are Ricky and Eileen going to... They really wanted to see Ricky and Eileen. going to happen. And I'm going to ask the standard Comic-Con question, which is, what does Comic-Con mean to you guys? And you just said something about it. Oh. I think it's just like a great place to find like, like interact with the fans more, like see how people respond to the show. I mean, because we're just like pulled up in our office, like making the show you know, most of the year, and like don't really get out to see. You can like look online. And see it's always like amazing to see like all the fans show up to like see what they have. Like, so we're like, we dress up. Do people know who you guys are, and do they? Geek out around you all? Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> that happens. It happens on the floor. We get like stopped for pictures or signatures. Yeah, it's fun to 
do the panels and like see people's reactions to the new stuff that no one's seen and get a chance to show it to people for the first time and especially like the energy here like when a crowd is all fans and they're watching something like you almost can't make something bad like they're into it <laughs> yeah it's really nice do you have a favorite fan interaction that comes to mind oh my gosh I remember one year a guy coming up and he's like, check it out. And he just like rolled up his sleeve and he had baby ducks tattooed on his arm. And I was like, you got a tattoo of that? <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> I hope it's not his arm. It was. It was real. <laughs> I was just, you know, because I'm a, a voiceover guy, um, but Tom Kenny's got a great line where he says, uh, he says if, if actors were, were superheroes, then voice actors would have the power of invisibility, <laughs> which, which I kind of dig, you know? It's like, you know, you get, nobody knows that you're on a hit show. It's actually the perfect kind of thing because yeah. people recognize your name, so you can use your name to get in the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, right. right. <laughs> you know who you are. Right, but, but it, it, it's so... As we, yeah, I'm Rick Dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then, but then, like, uh, uh, it wasn't last year, but I guess two years ago. Like, I just got here with my family, and we got out of the car and I'm walking to get my dad. And I feel this tug, and I look down, and there's this, this young girl there is like, "Can I get a picture with you?" And I said. Do you know who I am? <laughs> and she goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I don't know who you are. I, 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 she was a huge fan of the show, and I guess I'd gone online and seen pictures and stuff like that. But I, I, it totally blew me away. Like I'm not used to being recognized, so it was very, it was a trip. So that's that's probably probably my favorite fan interaction. But like these guys, what I really love is when somebody emails me or. Or I talk to somebody at a con, and they're like, "I I watch this with my kid, you know, the like, young dad and the kid like sit down and watch a regular show together. That's that's awesome." And how involved are you guys on Twitter and social networks? What's that? Sorry. How involved are you oh. on social networks and websites? Uh, at WL Salyers, and uh, yeah, plug in. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like that's that's how you stay in touch with your fans when you're not a con.